Hello and uh, welcome to my demo smoothing tutorial. Um, the first thing you do is you're just going to want to open up CS. There we go. And uh, basically, you're going to want to find an empty server. And, and go record like, a demo of you just pretty much doing nothing on it. So yeah, just join the team you like. So we want to demo something on Nuke. Go into Nuke. Um, the thing about the first person demos, which are the only demos you can actually smooth on, because you can't smooth on Source DVD or some reason, so it's buggy, um, is that different things are loaded client side so like uh, if we were to demo smooth all the way from T-Spawn then uh, we would probably find that that door wasn't loaded so we'd probably get like a big black glitch thing there so try and be close to the area that you're going to demo smooth in because it helps considerably um okay so so we just want to demo smooth from outside to upper yeah sound good cool um, so we just literally type record and then the name of your demo and then afterwards put 100 because we're going to record a uh, 100 fps and then about one to two minutes just do absolutely nothing um, but the reason we do this is because if you like crouch or jump or shoot during first person demos it's gonna like affect the smooth say for example we were smoothing and then suddenly you crouch the smooth is gonna go down to a crouch level um, it's basically it's just your player flying around the map but without the uh, hard or hands or anything like that so yeah once you've done waited for about a minute or so recording at 100 frames per second you do this because it's smoother. Um, also, try to go on a 100 tick server. That means that you're going to get more ticks a second. And it's it's going to be smoother um, as a general demo speed. So yeah, we've done that. Let's go into our console type stop again. Completed demo recording frames time. There you go. 9,000 frames we've got to play with. So we now play the demo. Okay, there we are, just standing there doing nothing. Um, what we're going to do is, first of all, hit that smooth button right there. Start tick, going to insert something like 100, then an end tick, 9000. It's basically going to be what portion, like tick numbers, of the demo that you want. Um, yeah, <laughs> pretty much that's it. Um, hit reload, over here. then. Hit select. All right. Um, then we can pretty much start the smoothing. First of all, we jump to 100. Usually, the ticks up here show the actual ticks, and these ticks jump to some crazy figure that no one. It's just a lie, basically. The jump to is a lie, so you're gonna have to uh, see the real ticks up here. C200 is tick 68. What's that one about? I'm not too sure. Maybe someone can explain that to me, but I had to find that out the hard way. Okay, now we're into the 200, so that's good. Um, but where do we want to start? Let's start looking at the sky. It's be a bit cliche. Um, yeah, there we go. So, what we do when we want to make a key point is hit make key and then uh, notice it changed to delete key. It's because if you didn't want it in the right place you can just delete it again um, now we can just jump to another tick say uh, 800 this time and the more ticks you put in between each like key point um, the smoother it's going to be basically and the longer it's going to take together so just be careful about that ok now we should notice that we have a green blob in the sky. See it right there? Big green blob. Yeah, that's a key point. 
So that's uh, the green line indicates which direction it's looking. So it's currently looking upwards, which is where we were at that take number. Okay, so uh, make it come around here a bit. Jump to 1200, maybe 1300. Yeah. Uh, 1700. You're getting the idea now. It's easy stuff. See the green uh, green lines starting to link together? It's going to show your path there. Yeah. Okay. And we want to smooth it in it. So here we go. Jump to 2000. The uh, blue dot shows where your character model was. It's not going to show up in the actual demo, but yeah, that shows where your character model is. The thing about basically making new keys after new keys, which link together, um, you have to try to make sure that you don't go through any walls with your links. For example, that key there, if I went here and made another key, then that's just literally it's going to go straight through this wall. It's going to look bad on the demo, so be careful about that. Okay, now we'll go up here. Just try and be a bit creative with your angles, because uh, it, it, yeah, when it smooths and joins all together, it usually looks really good if you've got crazy angles. Um, up here. Oh, go through the roof. <laughs> Not a good idea. Also, hitting skyboxes and objects usually tends to freak the demo out a bit. It uh, does this weird up and down jumpy thing. So just when you're smoothing, try and stay clear of basically any objects. We'll jump to 2,300. 